Why is there something rather than nothing? What is our place in the world? What is our future? What is our purpose? Over 2000 years, these questions germinated and grew into Western philosophy. Philosophy in turn has given rise to the natural sciences, and even though science has taught us much about the world, it cannot solve the elementary tensions that involve the relations between part and whole, self and other, and matter and mind. These tensions turn up everywhere science has traveled, from atoms to organisms and their societies. 99% of life on Earth never asks why. Only the existential nature of us humans has constructed such pointless, inconvenient questions. And the answers of philosophers to these questions are numerous and varied, and practical to different degrees. The 19th century philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, for example, said the question itself was meaningless because in the midst of living, we are in no position to discern whether our lives matter, and stepping outside of the process of existence to answer is impossible. In the Eastern philosophical tradition, there is yet another simple answer to the difficult question of life's meaning. A response that can't be articulated exactly, but is sensed through deep observation of nature. The 6th century Chinese sage Lao Tzu, who is said to have dictated the Tao Te Ching, before escaping civilization for solitude in the mountains, believed the universe supplies our value. He would argue that goals are insignificant, and that accomplishments are not what makes our lives matter. Meaning comes from being a product of the world itself. No effort is necessary. Lao Tzu proposes a deep understanding of the essence of existence, which is mysterious. We, like rivers and trees, are part of the way, which is made of everything and makes everything, and cannot ever truly be known or spoken of. From this perspective, life isn't comprehensible, but it is inherently meaningful. Whatever position we occupy in society, However little or much we may do, what if being ordinary could in fact be extraordinary? The Taoist philosophy was inspired by a close observation of the natural world. You need only spend a little time outdoors to sense the eternal, pulsating rhythm of nature. The sun rises and sets each day, and the seasons pass in cyclic succession. Rivers flow through the sea and clouds nourish the land with water. Trees and plants grow, flourish and decay. Animals live according to their own unique natures, instinctively knowing everything they need to live and thrive. Life matters because we exist within and among living things, as part of an enduring and incomprehensible chain of existence. Sometimes life is brutal, Lao Tzu writes, but meaning is derived from perseverance. The Tao says, One who persists is a person of purpose. The meaning of life is just to be alive. It is so plain and so obvious and so simple. And yet, everybody rushes around in a great panic as if it were necessary to achieve something beyond themselves. Alan Watts In other words, you are, therefore you matter. Because you live, life matters. Philosopher Richard Taylor proposes a similar explanation, that efforts and accomplishments aren't what make life matter. In the 1970 book Good and Evil, he writes, The day was sufficient to itself, and so was the life. I think searching for meaning is like telling someone that there's only one perfect person for them, and then asking them to fall in love before the first date. This assumes our meaning of being is fixed, rigid and assigned externally, and not flexible or a product of our mind. It's tempting to spend time thinking about why you're here, and we've all done it. But don't pin the meaning of your being on anything other than exactly who you are in this minute, because being you is your meaning. However, answering the question of meaning will always remain a problem as long as you keep asking it. In such circumstances, the best way to get over a small problem is to have a bigger problem. And what could be a bigger problem than procrastination? Make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button.